Om Shanti and welcome back. We are back with 20th of August Godly Blessing. Now a very interesting thing which we learn in this blessing is that how do we make ourselves so independent that no matter which person or anything cannot make us affected in the sense that I don't depend upon any person or anything for making me happier, content and making me feel nicer or making me feel complete at this moment. How is that possible? Is it even possible in this present world? We'll find that out in this blessing. So God says over here, may you be always be a detached observer and instead of making any facilities your support, just use them for the sake of it. Just use them for the sake of it. That means I'm using this phone just for the sake of it, but I'm not attached to it or I am using any kind of facility, let's see even that air condition over there, but I am using it not so much so that I become dependent upon it and if the light goes, I am like cursing everything, cursing the government, cursing the light, electricity board and cursing every human being, no, cursing the weather also, yeah? that's the third thing which comes up. So I am not at all in that kind of state of mind, that I am not so dependent upon it, I can adjust in every situation. And a person who can adjust in every situation is the one who has the most amount of experience in the world and doesn't feel anything when the situation gets tough. So when the rubber hits the road, they are the ones who are running faster or moving ahead faster in their life. So then God says, while moving along, some children put aside the seed and become attracted to the branches. Now seed over here is God. Branches means you could have any person in Brahma Kumaris who is a well-known speaker, somebody who addresses the people very well, who is very knowledgeable and you get attracted to that personality and not the seed. So being a spiritual being, we are connected to the Supreme Soul, the Supreme Power, the Supreme Energy, the Supreme Godfather or whatsoever you want to call him. That's the only source which I need to be attached to. But I cannot be a fan at the same time of any person. I cannot be admiring somebody and falling for that person. Falling in terms of getting attracted to their personality, to the qualities, may not be physical attraction at all because you are a spiritual being. But we are talking about a mental kind of attraction, an emotional kind of attraction or an attraction of awe or you are bewildered or you are taken aback by that person's maturity or that person's wisdom and you are like I need to be around this person and you forget the seed Godfather that's what God doesn't want us to do because we have been doing that for many 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 lifetimes so God then says some make souls they support that means somebody else whereas others make some facilities they support that without the electricity or without the light or without the song playing, a nice beautiful melody song, song playing at the background, I cannot meditate. Well, that's the thing, right? So God then says, whereas others make some facilities they support because the color and form of a seed is not beautiful. Whereas the color and form of the branches and twigs are very beautiful. So the seed is below the earth. And the twigs, the branches, the fruits, the leaves, the flowers, they look beautiful. So we don't see God who is hidden, but we see the, the complete creation and we get attracted to each leaf. Each leaf means each soul. And getting attracted to each soul doesn't lead us to the complete knowledge, doesn't give us the complete seed of knowledge. And that's what I was doing in my life. I was reading books, psychology books mental stability books, self-help books, books on relationships, books on relationship management, books on maturity, books on leadership. And when I was reading all of these, I realized that when I came to Brahma Kumaris, I got the seed, whereas I was stuck to each leaf. All of us are children of the creation of God, but we need to get to the source, which is the seed, not to those individual beings and getting awed by them. That's what God wants over here. He says, you might think he's a very selfish God, right? No. He wants the betterment of his children. He wants us to be self-independent, self-confident. So, God then says, Whereas the color and the form of the branches, 
and to exhibit very beautiful maya transforms your intellect in such a way that a false support is experienced to be real that means somebody else feels like oh he's got all godly knowledge all godly attractive wisdom and qualities i need this person around me i just need to be around this person no matter what and god says this is maya this is why you now have to increase experiencing the father's company in a sakar form and have the stage of a detached observer this is why you now have to increase experiencing the father's company in a sakar form it is important for us to believe and feel that the supreme creator is down with us he is around us he is somewhere around us and we can visualize him in the eyes of our mind that is the third eye and we have to feel that he is there with us and that can only happen when we have the power of love to attract him down do not make any facilities your support but use them for the sake of it that means no person no thing should be my support i should not be looking for happiness from any of these only then can i get attracted and be connected to the supreme and the supreme father the supreme creator and that's what we learn in brahma kumaris and it's a beautiful journey where you feel so powerful from within you feel like you can take over or take on any kind of challenge in your life it doesn't matter people screaming at you shouting at you complaining about you criticizing you and nothing will matter and that's the beauty of it i wish for you to experience that but for that you will have to come and understand this beautiful knowledge of brahma kumaris with this om shanti